uh, we have talked about uh, Lyapunov theory to uh, study uh, the stability of uh, dynamic systems. We learned that Lyapunov theory is very general. It is applicable to uh, any dynamic systems. We can even extend it to time varying dynamic systems as well. Uh, it can not only be utilized for analysis of systems but uh, can also be utilized for design of systems. However, there are a few uh, difficulties uh, associated with the uh, Lyapunov theory. Uh, one difficulty is that it only provides sufficient conditions. Uh, it does not provide uh, both necessary and sufficient conditions. This is a limitation. And uh, one consequence of uh, this limitation is that uh, finding a Lyapunov function uh, is difficult. That is, if for example we take uh, any uh, positive definite function, its uh, time derivative along system trajectories comes out to be positive definite, we cannot uh, give any conclusion because it gives only sufficient conditions. Uh, therefore, we have to try for some other uh, positive definite function and uh, that is basically a difficulty in Lyapunov theory. And uh, in today's lecture, we are going to talk about some guidelines which can be utilized for the selection of a candidate Lyapunov function. So here are a few uh, uh, techniques, strategies which can be utilized for selection of a candidate Lyapunov function. Uh, we can use physically motivated Lyapunov functions. We can use a quadratic Lyapunov function. There is an approach which is called a variable gradient method. This can be utilized in other approach, uh, Krauskis method. So these are a few approaches which can be utilized for selection of a candidate Lyapunov function. Uh, and over uh, the past years, uh, I have uh, observed that this third approach uh, is not very useful. Uh, it only uh, the understanding of this approach is uh, rather difficult uh, and it is uh, not uh, applicable to many systems. So therefore, this year we shall not talk about this approach. Uh, we shall study rest of the three approaches for selection of the candidate Lyapunov function. So we start with the first uh, one that is physically motivated Lyapunov function. Uh, you know the uh, basic. Uh, motivation of Lyapunov theory was from the energy of the system. Therefore, energy of a system can be taken as a candidate Lyapunov function. So this is one uh, possible approach and you already know that for mechanical systems, total energy is the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy. Likewise, uh, in electrical systems, it is a sum of electrostatic energy and magnetic energy and uh, likewise you can talk about uh, many other systems. And uh, we had uh, already studied one example uh, of the pendulum system and in that example we had taken the energy of the system as uh, a candidate Lyapunov function and uh, then determined the stability of the equilibrium point. So this term, the first term uh, was the potential energy and this is the kinetic energy as we have explained earlier. So uh, energy of the system can be uh, simply taken as a Lyapunov function. Another example to demonstrate the same uh, concept, here is a mechanical system consisting of a mass, spring and damper and the mathematical model of this system is given over here where uh, x1 this state x1 is uh, the uh, displacement of this mass and uh, x1 dot which is equal to x2 is the velocity. So uh, totally uh, I think this uh, this uh, sign negative sign is extra by it is typo over here. So here is minus k over m. And uh, what is uh, the total energy? Total energy is given over here. This term is uh, the energy stored in the spring and this is the energy stored in this mass. And uh, we can take uh, the derivative of this uh, Lyapunov function uh, along system trajectories. This is the derivative 
and uh, we can substitute the expression for x1 dot and x2 dot from these equations and finally get this relation so uh, this is negative definite and uh, hence the equilibrium point is a stable equilibrium point that is uh, we can take the energy of the system as a Lyapunov function this is one approach uh, but again, this approach uh, is associated with certain limitations and uh, these limitations are uh, enlisted over here. Uh, to apply this approach, you need a complete understanding of the process. Uh, and secondly, uh, state variables may not correspond to some physical quantity. In the previous example, both the state variables were associated with some physical variable that is position and velocity but uh, you know that uh, in some mathematical models uh, especially when you have applied state transformations then state variables may not correspond to some physical variables and in that case uh, you will not be able to describe the energy in terms of the state variables and maybe uh, you are not uh, familiar with the process, you are only given with the mathematical model and in that case, uh, again, uh, you will not have the understanding of the process and hence uh, uh, this approach uh, is not useful over there, right? The second strategy which can be utilized uh, for uh, the selection of candidate Lyapunov function is to take quadratic Lyapunov function. This is actually the most uh, frequently utilized uh, approach. Uh, what we do is that we take a quadratic Lyapunov function. This quadratic Lyapunov function is given by this expression. This x is the state vector. Uh, the x transpose into x that is basically equal to x1 square plus x2 square plus x3 square up to uh, xn square. So this uh, candidate Lyapunov function works in many cases and uh, uh, that is uh, uh, simpler and uh, in many previous examples that we have studied we had taken this quadratic Lyapunov function for example in this uh, system described by these nonlinear differential equations we had taken this quadratic Lyapunov function and it worked uh, and in many cases uh, this uh, quadratic Lyapunov function uh, is uh, taken why do we take this uh, 1 by 2 over here 1 by 2 1 by 2 why not simply x transpose x okay. right because this uh, 1 by 2 further simplifies the things if we take the derivative of this uh, term for example the first term it will be 2x1 into x1 dot so just to cancel this extra 2 uh, we take 1 by 2 over here you can even take simple x transpose into x uh, and uh, in some cases, if uh, this does not work, this quadratic Lyapunov function does not work, we can modify this quadratic Lyapunov function by just using our intuition and uh, inspection of the terms. Uh, we had uh, done it in one of our previous examples uh, for this particular system with uh, the equilibrium point at origin. <coughs> We had taken this candidate Lyapunov function and uh, we observed that if we take the derivative of this uh, candidate Lyapunov function along system trajectories, we finally get this expression minus x1 square minus x1 x2 plus 2 x1 x2 minus x2 uh, power 4. So uh, the definiteness of this uh, expression cannot be determined. Uh, if you look at this term, this is uh, uh, always negative. If you look at this term, this is also uh, always negative. However, uh, this, uh, this term uh, minus x1, x2 plus 2x1, x2, uh, the definiteness of this term cannot be determined. Uh, so, uh, we can uh, somehow modify this candidate Lyapunov function so that uh, this term is cancelled out. Uh, how we can do that? Right. Uh, here, this 1 by 2. If we remove this 1 by 2, 
then uh, this uh, will be minus 2x1 square and this term will be minus 2x1 x2 so therefore this term will be cancelled so that is by simple inspection or you can also add uh, this uh, factor 1 by 4 over here so this will uh, make it uh, simple 1x1 x2 so simple inspection and use of intuition uh, that uh, uh, we can modify this candidate Lyapunov function this quadratic Lyapunov function so as to reach to our desired results so this is negative definite and uh, therefore the equilibrium point is globally asymptotically stable uh, one more example to demonstrate uh, the same uh, thing uh, we have uh, this system with uh, three states and uh, we have uh, selected this uh, candidate Lyapunov function quadratic candidate Lyapunov function uh, computed its derivative along system trajectories which came out to be this expression so uh, definiteness of some terms is known so this minus x1 square minus x2 square minus x3 uh, square and also this x2 x3 uh, this term cancels out with this term x2 x3 uh, what about this term so definiteness of this term cannot be uh, determined uh, is there any way to cancel it out likewise this term x1 cube x2 uh, we want to get rid of these two terms so any idea how we can do that good observation if we take here x power 4 this x1 power 4 then here it will be x1 cube into x1 dot so x1 cube into x2 so x1 cube into x2 but uh, there is also uh, we have to uh, change this uh, this coefficient uh, and we can take uh, this to be equal to 1 by 4 so if we make this uh, change modification then uh, finally we get a negative definite uh, this uh, v dot comes out to be negative definite and hence uh, we can uh, uh, see that the equilibrium point for this system is uh, asymptotically stable actually globally asymptotically stable because this is radially unbounded candidate Lyapunov function here is one more example uh, we have uh, this uh, quadratic candidate Lyapunov function take the derivative along system trajectories and get this expression so again uh, some terms uh, we cannot determine their definiteness and we want we would like to cancel those terms so you see that this uh, this term is already cancelled out with this one and uh, uh, we want to get rid of this uh, uh, this term so again similar modification in this candidate Lyapunov function uh, we can uh, reach to a conclusion uh, what about the definiteness of this uh, this function negative negative semi-definite negative semi-definite the x1 square term is missing so this is negative semi-definite and uh, we conclude that the equilibrium point is stable and sometimes uh, we can also take more general this quadratic function here we have uh, x transpose p into x where p is a matrix with appropriate dimensions and it is positive definite matrix so if this <coughs> matrix p is positive definite this function will be positive definite what is dimension of this matrix p size of this matrix n by n we have n states so this is uh, 1 by n vector this is n by 1 vector so this matrix must be n by n so this is n by n symmetric matrix we can uh, use this more general form of this quadratic Lyapunov function and uh, that is also illustrated with one example we have this uh, a dynamic system and uh, this basically describes the rotating rigid spacecraft uh, we are using this control law for this particular system and uh, with this control law we have uh, this particular system 
and we want to study its stability. Uh, we take uh, this candidate lap of function x transposed p x j1 j2 j3 uh, these are basically uh, the uh, inertia moment of inertia and that is always positive j1 j2 j3 and these are positive constants so this matrix is positive definite and hence this function is positive definite uh, this is the same expression uh, can be rewritten over here and we compute the derivative of this function along system trajectories and uh, we finally get uh, this expression which is negative definite hence the equilibrium point for this system uh, is asymptotically stable